Hello everyone and welcome to IB Professional Schools YouTube channel. Today I will guide you through the process of installing Ubuntu from a VDI image in VirtualBox. Let's get started. First, open an web browser and search for Ubuntu VDI image. Click on the link on linuxvmimages.com. Choose your preferred version of Ubuntu. For this demonstration, I am selecting Ubuntu 22.04. Click on the VirtualBox image option and the download will start automatically after 20 seconds. Once the download is completed, extract the content of the downloaded zip file using WinRAR. Now launch VirtualBox, click on machine, then new, provide a name of this virtual machine without using any space or special character, leave the other settings as they are and click next. Choose the desired memory and CPU settings, keep them within the green portion, then click next. Select use an existing virtual hard disk file and click on the folder icon. Add the VDI image file from the extracted folder by clicking add. Navigating to the VDI file, selecting it and click choose. Finally, click next and then finished. Now, let's configure the virtual machine settings. Click on settings. In the general section, select advance and set the option to bidirectional. Proceed to the storage section to confirm that VDI file is properly selected. Then click OK to save the changes. Now click on start to initiate the virtual machine. Once it's up and running, you will be prompt for a password. For this, the password is same Ubuntu in all lowercase. Then press enter. Now you can skip the initial setup steps. To change the resolution for a large screen, click on the home and then display, then choose in any suitable resolutions. To update the OS, again click on the home icon followed by the terminal and type sudo space apt space update to update the latest version. Additionally, you can upgrade any installed application using sudo space apt space upgrade. And there you have it. You have successfully installed Ubuntu from a VDI image in VirtualBox. If you have any questions or need further assistance, feel free to leave a comment below. And stay tuned for more useful tutorials on our YouTube channel.